All right, everyone, here we are with ticker symbol TOPS, Top Ships Inc. Before I jump into this chart, I want to say welcome to all my new viewers and thank you to all my subscribers that engage in comments down below. Hit the like button and let me know and notify me that they watch this video and for always giving me feedback. And for all of you that are here for the first time, welcome and I hope you guys find this informative and helpful so let's go ahead and look at what's going on with this chart this chart has had its spikes right going to new highs and then falling and then bringing itself back up a little bit and falling so it ended up below the 50-day moving average which is now in bearish territory and the 50-day moving average is 1082 so as long as it stays below that bears are in control and the bulls are going to have to work on breaking through it and working their way closer to it so before they can get there they first have to break through the resistance level and the first resistance level here after the closing price of 1057 is 1069 if the bulls can break through that and use it as support they can start to work their way closer to the 50-day moving average and break through new resistance levels and hopefully getting back over to bullish territory to continue a bullish run but this ended in a way where the bears tore this apart they still reappeared and the bears leveled this out not letting the bulls even come back at all so the tug of war ended pretty strong here between both of them and we'll have to see how it plays out on monday on the other side of things the bears are going to want to tear this from 1057 down to 1033 if the bears can't break through this, I'm not saying that the bulls have control and that they can turn this around significantly because anything lower than 1057 and not even break through the support level is showing that the bears are gaining control, continuing to break through other uh, levels of support before that one. But this is the main one that can really turn this around and uh, show that the bears completely have gained control. As of right now, the bears are in control, but the closer they get to the support level, and if they were to even break through it, it just shows that the bears have even more control over this chart. Because as long as it stays below the 50-day moving average, bears are in control. So the bears want to break to 1033, bring it to newer lows. But two things can happen if it breaks through the support level or if it gets real close to it. Either the bears are gaining more control pulling it away from the 50-day moving average, or the bulls are going to take advantage of the price and turn this one back around. So that's something to be mindful of. Pay close attention to on Monday and how it goes the following days in the week. But we'll have to definitely see, keep a close eye on it, and see how it plays out throughout the day. As always, if you learned something new, subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button for me to let me know you watched this video and share this with your friends and community. And just keep in mind the support levels, the resistance level, and the 50-day moving average of 1082. As long as it stays below it, bears in control. If the bulls can break through it, the bulls can start to gain control. I won't say that they fully got control because if the bears reappear at any moment here, they can just tear it right back down. So breaking through it will just show that the bulls are starting to gain leverage and they just need to maintain it. So we'll see how it goes. Thank you for watching.